Welcome to PC Perspective. Today we're going to take a look at a new ultra high-end motherboard from MSI, the Big Bang X-Power. MSI's Big Bang X-Power motherboard is a really high-end offering that supports some cool features like six physical by 16 PCI Express slots, as well as some pretty intense overclocking options, including multiple power connectors that we'll show you once we get inside. Let's take a look. As with all of MSI's Big Bang motherboards, there's a lot inside the box. The first thing you'll see here is actually uh, your performance reference table lets you know that one particular individual tested the motherboard, uh, it has an individualized serial number, it even has listings of benchmarks that your motherboard has gone through. You've got a nice, quick, easy setup guide if you want access to that as well. Uh, lots of cables, we've got, uh, let's see, two SATA cables and power adapters. We've got, I don't know, four, five, six total for that. We have a connection package for external SATA let you uh, hook up a regular hard drive, bare hard drive to the outside of your case as well. We've got USB dongle here for two extra USB ports on your back panel if, if your case can support it. Obviously you've got your manual, we've got driver disks, we've got all kinds of uh, reference guides for OC dashboard, quick installation, their Linux install, that kind of thing. We've got our back panel set up here. We have easy access to the, what do they call these? The MSI M connectors. They allow you to put the pins from your case onto these little adapters and easily install them on the motherboard. Connections for the voltage monitoring section of the motherboard we'll show you in a second. There are lots of multi GPU cables here. We've got SLI. We've got Crossfire, we've got two more SLI connections, so for all your kind of different configurations, one, two, three way SLI as well. This is their external audio riser card here. Lots of connectivity options. I believe it uses uh, one of the ALC chipsets. Pretty good, THX certified. We have the OC dashboard module, which um, allows you to monitor voltages, monitor temperatures, and you can even do some basic overclocking straight from this device that uh, connects to the motherboard directly with an external cable. And then underneath here we have just that cable to connect the OC dashboard to the system. So here's the MSI X-Power motherboard. We'll start at the processor area. You can see it's an LGA 1366 processor for, for Intel Bloomfield cores, Core i7 parts. It does use a 16-phase PWM powered by uh, Dr. Moss technology. We've got super ferrite chokes over here, uh, high C caps, lots of good power control, power management features. Uh, they obviously are using a passive heat pipe cooling system, which is nice. Uh, one of the interesting things you'll see over here is we actually have two eight pin ATX power connectors right here. Not just one, we've got two for added uh, 12 volt supply to the processor, so that's pretty nice. Uh, also, these LEDs along the front of the motherboard here will let you know which phase the processor is in at any given time. They'll light up accordingly to that. We've got six DIMM slots that use uh, the easy DIMM installation design where you only have to have clips on one side so you can easily remove memory when you have uh, graphics cards installed in this top location. Let's see, other features include, well, we've got our SATA support down here, and these white ones are actually SATA 6G powered by the Marvell chipset. We've got the V-Kit, is what MSI calls this. This allows you to monitor voltages uh, with, a, with a voltmeter or with a multimeter pretty easily as well. Uh, along the bottom, we, wouldn't, we could be remiss if we don't mention the OC Genie button here. This allows you to do automatic overclocking on this motherboard. Uh, simply hit the switch, boot your system, and it will do its best to overclock your processor. It works pretty well. We've tested it on, on a lot of other motherboards, but my guess is that if you are buying this high end of motherboard, you're probably not gonna be using it. You're gonna be doing your own uh, micromanaging of the overclocking, but you do have the ability to increase the base clock 
of the Intel processor with the plus minus keys here, then you've got your power and reset switches. Speaking of switches, we have this here. This is the uh, MSI option to overvolt different components. So basically, each, each of these four switches allows the BIOS to access higher voltage options. You've got your processor, QPI, DDR, and the chipset controls. So you flip those up to on and you can access higher voltage settings that, that way. Uh, also, oh, what about all these PCI Express slots? You can see that there are six full-size by 16 PCI Express slots. You will not be able to, they don't all actually have by 16 bandwidth, of course, but the second one here and five can run at full by 16. And then after that, you can run three and six at by eight. And there are a lot of other combinations here. You, uh, I believe they go eight, four, four, eight, four, four, if they are fully populated. So that's, uh, you, you know, if you, if you have that many graphics cards or you have that many add-in cards that need that type of bandwidth, this motherboard is gonna get you about as much as you're going to possibly get. This top PCI Express slot is actually for that sound riser card. And actually, one thing to mention here is you can see this extra six pin ATX power connector. That is for added power to your graphics card. So it's another way that MSI's engineers have uh, attempted to increase the stability of your system, even with the most extreme overclocking. And finally, we will end with looking at the external connections here. We still have two legacy PCI, or PS2 ports rather. We've got uh, the clear CMOS button. This is the connection for OC dashboard. We have uh, eSATA, regular USB, Firewire. We've got USB 3.0, of course. That's almost a near standard feature on a lot of motherboards today. Two gigabit LAN, ethernet, and uh, yeah. So it's got pretty much everything you could want on a motherboard, and uh, I, I think any user lucky enough to get one of these would be happy with it. Obviously, MSI's X-Power motherboard is a high-end enthusiast motherboard. In terms of pricing, we don't know exactly what it's going to be since it's not available in retail, but expect it to be anywhere from three to $350 like the other Big Bang series motherboards from MSI. We are going to do our regular rounds of benchmarking and overclocking with this board very soon, so make sure you stay tuned to PCPer.com for the full review when it is available. For now, I'm Ryan Shrout. Thanks for watching.